beginning with her, all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light. Everybody say light. Light. Of men. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended not. Read just a little bit more. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Everybody say light again. Light. That all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Yeah. Amen. We're going to stop right there. Again, let us go to Matthew chapter 5 and what I say, verse 14 and 16. Yeah. Chapter 5, I'm say. Chapter 5 and 14 through 16. And the word of God said as Jesus spoke, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Yes. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yes. Amen. Yes. The second part of this uh, sermon is um, he, what did I say, First Peter? Turn to First Peter and uh, chapter two. First Peter two and verse nine and ten. And the word of God said, "But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people." that you should not show forth the praises of him who had called, everybody say called, Call. you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Look at the neighbor again and say, God called you out. God, God called, called you out. out. Mm -hmm. Amen. God Verse 10 says, out. which in past time were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Can I get a witness? You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Look at your neighbor again and say, a light in a dark place. A light, a light in, in a, a dark, dark place. place. God called you out. God called you out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We know that um, we don't like to be called out. Amen. Nobody likes to be called out, but calling out is a good thing in some uh, uh, instances of uh, we realize that uh, being called out allow us to understand that something, uh, amen, is not right. Yes. Amen. Yes. And to be called out on it gives us to uh, the knowledge to realize that we have something that we should uh, rectify or make right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or it could be some misunderstanding that we could uh, uh, rectify. Amen. To, um, uh, uh, um, to something that may have been mistaken or misunderstood. Can I get a witness here? Amen. So um, to get called out is a good thing. Amen. Amen. Because it gives you the chance to do whatever that is necessary or make necessary adjustments to whatever it is that don't seem it to be or that is not right. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Amen. Um, we uh, at times don't like to be called out because sometimes it um, some things may embarrass us, but it's a good thing to bear the embarrassment. Some things is good to 
and we get called out on because we, again, we can make it right. So it's a good thing to be called out. Amen. Um, because then now we can make things a whole lot better. Yeah. Ain't that all right? It's all right. But if no one never tells you, amen, that you uh, uh, um, that something is wrong, that you have uh, um, a split in your pants, uh, Brother Edgar, and here it is every time you begin to bend over, that here it is everybody seeing your shine. Uh, can I get a witness <laughs> And If nobody never tells you about it, uh, call you out on it, then you will never know. And it Here, brother, um, you're walking with this nice, nice, beautiful suit on and, and thinking that you got it all together and you're, you're strutting your stuff. And here it is, you got a great big old split in your, in your back, in your pants, per se. Amen. But if nobody never, has, and people are laughing and you don't know why they're laughing, are y'all still with me? Y'all getting the point? Yes, sir. Amen. So it's good to be called out. Uh, uh, amen. Praise God, by the end of this message, you realize that how good it is and how great it is to be called out. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we're um, going we're, we're gonna to deal with this um, other subject, this um, which a light in a dark place. Amen. A light in a dark place. Amen. I uh, want to... Um, uh, give the Webster definition of light versus, and then give the uh, um, biblical uh, one of light, uh, amen, and to um, define what light is. Webster began to say in one part of this, uh, meaning that something that makes vision possible, amen, light is. The sensation aroused by uh, stimulation of the visual receptors electromagnetic radiation of any wavelength that travels in a vacuum with a speed of, talking about the speed of light, amen. And, um, and then it talks about, gives about the daylight, daylight, amen. And it gives about the dawn, it gives about the dawn, amen. Just before the break of day, here comes the dawn. Amen, praise God. And that is a source of light, so, such as, amen, we have the celestial uh, uh, body uh, that has light at night. And uh, uh, we have the specks of light, which is seen uh, the way we view it and see it, because it's so far of a distance away from us that it begins to see specks of light at night. Can we get a witness here? The celestial uh, part of light um, and body. Amen. Then you have the candlelight, and those candlelights that we light, so I'll say that we put, um, we light such as when the electrical lights goes off or something, they have some kind of difficulty, some kind of problem with the light, we light a candle. Candlelight. So many things about light. And then you got the electric lights, which we know that they're worse by electricity, and we turn it on that light off and on and we control that or either. You know, uh, um, if you don't pay your electric bills, then they turn out. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. We're going to talk about that too. You know, we have uh, uh, about that light. Amen. It can't be turned out. Can I get a witness here? Amen. And then we have the, uh, um, in the spiritual realm, we have the light which is sight. Amen. Then we see in the spiritual illumination, the illumination. Uh, that shine the uh, uh, bright, said uh, the light that shines in the darkness, amen, and the darkness has not overcome it. We know that the word of God lets us know that the light shineth before in Genesis, that as God began to uh, call out the light, he said, let there be light. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Uh, we have the, uh, um, also the inner light, and we have the enlightenment. Yeah. Amen, praise God. And that's uh, um, the reaching out and groping for a pathway of the light as we get the enlightenment or the enlightening of the word of God. Yes. As the spirit begins to search the deep things of God 
amen, to bring forth and to bring out to us in a visual that we are able to see with the spiritual eye. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Amen. amen. Then we have the true light, which is Christ Almighty. Yeah. Amen. It is the true light. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, the light that uh, uh, began, as we just spoke about a while ago, in the book of John. John began to say he wasn't that light, but he came to bear witness of that light. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? So you have yeah. some idea, you have some definitions, and you have some uh, um, knowledge about what the light is. Yes, yeah. I'm here to let you know that um, we are a light in a dark place. Yes. Amen. Yes, Praise yes. God. A light in a dark place. And God called you out. Amen. Praise God. So being called out is not a bad thing, as you will find out before the end of this message, if not already. Uh, amen. That being called out is a good thing. Amen. 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 Because that pride we get in and don't, and the arrogance and self-centeredness that, that brings about and develops as you continue to be arrogant, um, it begins to cause you don't want to be called out. You get angry uh, 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 about being called out, even if it's for your good. Yes. Amen. And I'm here to tell you that it's a good thing to be called out. Amen. We'll find it in the text as we get to the text in Ephesians chapter 5. We will find out how great it is to be called out. Yes. Amen. To find out that had it not been for the Lord on my side, or on your side, on our side, yes. we would have been swallowed Thank up. We Lord. wouldn't be here today. And it, we're not here just by chance of ha hazardous. We're here because it is the plan of oh the Lord. Yes. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Look at that. Yes. God had a plan. God had a plan. And we are in it. And we are in it. Can I get a witness? Yes. Yes. The reason I say God had a plan but everything that God has done is all, all everything that God did is already done. Yes. God is not going to do nothing else. Jesus is not going to die anymore. He's not going on the cross anymore. He's not going to die no more. Can I get a witness? So God had a plan. Amen. And we are in it. Yes. We have been predestined to carry out the purpose of of the will of God. Can I get a witness yes, here? Indeed. We have already been predestinated. We have already, there is a predestined uh, nation that we have to fulfill and to carry out and to execute. Amen. As we stay in the will and way of God. Yes. There is a God-given divine purpose that God has set up for us to carry out and to execute while we are yet still here. Amen. We are not still here by chance. We are not still here because that we have healthy bodies. We're not still here because we're so educated. We're not still here because that we are so rich. We're not still here because that everything seemed to be uh, at our fingertips and we seem to have everything all right and seem like all everything is going okay for us. We're not still here for that. We are still here because of the uh, the, 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 uh, um, the, the glorified divine purpose yes. of God that He has come for us, yes. for us, Amen. Before the world was framed, yes. and then God had it all planned. He had a plan, and guess what? We are in, in it. it. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. I like to say to uh, all the people that still here, you ain't going nowhere until you fulfill the purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. So if the purpose has not been fulfilled, you ain't got to worry about going nowhere. Oh, yes. I don't care how uh, uh, bad it seemed to, or how bad your health seemed to be or how bad it seemed to come, things coming after you. You ain't going nowhere until your purpose has been fulfilled. Okay. Amen. Amen. We're not going to talk. We preached on that before. That God had a plan yeah. and we are in it. Mm -hmm. I know we, some, some, we, we um, seldom say God has a plan. God had a plan. Past that, God had a plan. It's already in, yes, it's in motion. Yeah. We just got to go through to get to the can I get a witness here. Yes, we have to process the life that we have yeah. in order to bring forth the progression of God's purpose that he has already established for us. 
And then once we get to that understanding and realizing that it's not something that we go and we um, ask God about that he just do it at that time, we have to realize everything is already set for us. And once we come to the knowledge and understanding and know how to tap into it, it works for you. Yeah. It'll work if you work it. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's mm -hmm. all through and by your faith. Amen. We are saved by faith. I mean, by the grace of God, through and by our faith. Amen. So we are saved by grace, through and by the faith that you have in the Lord. That's why you can't, uh, uh, your faith cannot save nobody else. Amen. They would have to individual, you would have, you would have to receive the salvation for yourself. Can I get a witness here? Uh, we're going to preach a little bit today, and we're not going to hold you long. Amen. Uh, um, so, but we're going to get to the place that where we're realizing that we are a light in, yes, a dark place. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're going to go back to Matthews and uh, what chapter? Let's say chapter five. Yes. Amen. And the Bible, the Word of God said, this is what Jesus said. First of all, he let us know that we are the salt of the earth in verse 13. And then he said uh, unto us, I'm going to read 13, yes, he uh, opened that up too. But we also the salt. We need to start sprinkling ourselves all over this earth. Yeah. Uh, Y'all ain't going to help me with that. Come on, Amen. Amen. What, that, what does that mean? To sprinkle right. yourselves. We need to be witnesses all over this earth. We need to have some salt in every area, every avenue. Every Look, y'all better help me up in here. Every aspect of our lives and everywhere we go, we need every facet of our living life. Yes, we need Lord. to have some salt sprinkled all over. Yes, Can I get a witness here? Yes. I'm going to read that because I don't want to leave that out. I'll, I'll bring this in again without uh, and leaving this out. So I want y'all to hear verse 13. Y'all stay with me. This is what Jesus said. Amen. And, uh, um, and you must understand that this is when Jesus was talking. He was talking to us when, uh, when he was saying, when men shall uh, uh, revile us and then also persecute you. Amen. And then shall say all manner of evil things against you falsely yeah. for my sake. Amen. He should rejoice and be exceeding glad. Amen. Can I get a witness here? So I know sometimes we get touched by certain things and we get all upset. And we said they falsely accusing me, they lying on me, and they just saying things on me, they're talking about me. That's a good thing, y'all. Look at the name say it's all good. It's all, it's all good. good. And when it's all good, it's all God. And y'all say it with me. Amen. When it's all good, it is all God. Yes. Did you not know that being a Christian, being saved and born again and doing the work of God, that it all comes with persecution? Amen. Oh, yes. That's why Jesus began to let the disciples yes. know, amen, that uh, uh, you must count the cost. Amen. We want this. Uh, uh, we want this. 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 this uh, uh, how can I say it? This life that's so uh, um, uh, streaky, uh, 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 clean, and all perfect life, and that nothing happens. That we just live this life, and nothing comes. No troubles. No problems. No situations. No conditions. No circumstances. Uh, nothing comes our way, and we don't even have to be confronted with any kind of dilemma because guess what? We already know. We're not confused by anything because we already know. But we just want this perfect life to live as a child and a, a, a Christian. I'm here to tell you, being a child of God, it comes with persecution. That's why Jesus told the disciples to count the cost. Yes. Yeah. Are you really ready for this? Amen. Do you really want to follow me? Do, are you really, do you really want to come and go with me? Do you really want to be my disciple and count the cost? Because foxes have has hope. Birds have nests. Son of man has no place to lay his head. Yes. Not in the sense that Jesus couldn't find anywhere or had any place, had nowhere to lay his head, but he was letting them know the cost. He's to count the cost. Yes, Lord. To see whether you have sufficient to continue with me. Mm -hmm. Not just to start with me and then fall out along the road or fall, or, or, or fall out along the way. Oh, yes. But to continue this with me. Man. Count the cost before you attack yourself, before you start to even try to walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Yeah. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me.
Praise the Lord. You are the light of the earth, said Jesus. But if the salt, I mean, you are the salt of the earth. I'm sorry, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth. Jesus. But if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Yes, Lord. If the salt has lost its preserve, if the salt has lost the potent thing that keeps things preserved and saved, it is dense for good for nothing. Yes. But to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Amen. Amen. So then Jesus takes us to the second part of who we are. He said, you are the light. Everybody say light. Light. The light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Be hid. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor. Neighbor. Let your light shine. Let, let your light shine. shine. The word of God says, so let your light shine before men that men may see your good work. Yes, and sir. glorify the Father. Glorify God which I'm in heaven. Somebody yes, shout yes up in yes, the yes. Let your little light let shine. Your light. Yes, yes. Yes. light in a dark place. Yes, my Lord. Can I get a witness here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Now we want to look at verses. Um, we want to look at Peter. Let us look at Peter. No, no, no. I want to finish this with mine. Let's, let's stay right there. Uh, uh, Matthew. Amen. And Matthew 15 said, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, mm. but on a candlestick, mm -hmm. and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Y'all yeah. ready to hear this? Amen. Whoever that's in the house, whoever that's in your presence, amen, it gives light to it. Yes, Lord. Amen. You wouldn't even know that there's darkness among you because that the light that you have will put out the darkness. Yes, Lord. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Great. The light is so illuminating that it shines so bright that even the darkness cannot even comprehend it. Amen. Amen. Because the light began to apprehend or arrest the darkness yeah. if the darkness stays there. Mind you, the darkness dissipates while light begins to show forth. Yeah. Darkness cannot tag on and stay in the presence of light. Yes, Lord. And stay there. If you find darkness still tagging on and staying in the presence of your life, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all still with me? Man. Sometimes we feel that everything is okay, but if darkness can continue to stay there, then you may, you need to check to see whether your light is on. Mm. Because if your light is on, darkness is not going to stay there. Amen. Thank the Lord. Without, without the exception of them, uh, being changed. Amen. Amen. Right. What are you saying, my pastor? Conversational wise. If there's a conversation going on, he is like having a conversation with darkness. Amen. And if darkness is not being converted or being changed or transformed and stays there, you better check your conversation. Amen. Y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. Because light puts out darkness. Amen. 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 And do it every time. Every time. Amen. You can make this place here pitch black dark. You can put uh, covers over the windows and make it real dark in here. And I can just turn on one light. And all darkness dissipates. dissipates. It surely does. You won't see no darkness. So true. Amen. 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 You won't see no darkness. Amen. Because light will cause it to dissipate. Yes, Are y'all still with me? Amen. A light in a yeah, dark place. Yes, yes. That's that's who we are. We are a light in a dark place. And God called you out. Yeah, God's called you out. Mm -hmm. And get angry with him. 
بیکار کرد Can I get a word? Verse 16 said, Let your light shine before me that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Can I get a word? Let your light shine. Don't put your light out. Amen. Don't turn your light out or turn it off for nobody. Don't turn your light off for nobody. But I got to be careful what I say about that because I might run yet. Amen. That's what light's supposed to do. Light's supposed to run away, darkness. Amen. Amen. Let your light shine before men that they may see, that men may see your good works. Amen. We, we can have conversation, but make sure that the conversation is about light. Amen. Let it be a clean, let it be a good conversation. Amen. Let it be a conversation of light. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's talk about basketball. Share some light. Share some light. When you see, uh, uh, we, 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 we used to see uh, uh, Michael Jordan go up there and do his thing and make those nice, beautiful moves. And look at God. So God made this specimen. God made and gave this man this talent. Give God some glory. Shed your life. Amen. Even when he don't do it, you can do it. That's right. I never heard Michael Jordan even give God any kind of glory, any kind of praise. Never. It's all about Mike. I never heard him say anything good about God. He never say, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, he, he won't even get, I never heard him say the man I'm saying. I never heard him say anything near to that, but I never, I don't know. But praise God, I mean, God has really blessed him. And uh, we never know. That's a lot of people have a very influential person that's in sports per se, and a lot of people that he could have really brought to the Lord through him by the life that he did. Amen. And still got a chance to do so. Right. ain't over yet. That's right. And we don't know what he might do. Now, what he hasn't done already. Praise God. But uh, um, God has really blessed us. The things that we do, we must realize as Christ began to uh, say that even when he was called the master, Christ began to say that none is good but one. He said, the things that I do is not a mind, it's not my Father which art in heaven. He said the words that I speak, not my words, but it comes from my Father which art in heaven. Yeah. Amen. He never took the credit are trying to uh, 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 take take the credit of being who he was. He began to give all the glory and credit unto God. He glorified the Father. Yes, he did. Amen. And the Father always glorified the Son. For my beloved Son, for whom I am well pleased, God said, God glorified his Son, Jesus. And Jesus glorified his Father. God Almighty, creator of the heavens and earth, creator of all things, amen, the almighty God, amen, the omnipotent God, the omniscient God, the, the omnipresent God. He's all-knowing, he's all-present, he's everywhere, all at the same time. He has all power and trust in his mighty hand, and he gave to his son Jesus, amen, the Christ. Can I get a witness here? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Turn on your light. Don't turn it off. I know uh, uh, who's that? Uh, Teddy Pendergrass. Uh, who's one of them fellows out there during the time was coming up and back in the day was said, turn off the light. No, turn on the light. Men, turn on your light. <laughs> turn the light on. Turn the lights on. Amen. Some people like to live in darkness. Uh, people live in darkness. They hate the light. Amen. That's the word. It's all word. It's all good. Amen. People that are uh, living darkness, they hate the light. They hate it. Amen. Praise God. Um, let's look at, uh, um, amen, uh, what did I say? Second Peter. I mean, first Peter. We're going to get there, y'all. Yeah, we're going to get there. Look at David again and say, uh, we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. Let your light shine. Let Amen. your light shine. Maybe the next sermon will be on the salt. We need to sprinkle ourselves all over this earth. Amen. Be a witness. 
John came to bear witness of that light. John said, I'm not the light. I'm, I'm here to bear witness of the light. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He was a witness. Amen. Can't get a witness. First Peter. And what did I say? Chapter 2. First Peter in chapter 2. And uh, verses 9 and 10. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the word of God uh, speaks and says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out. Look at the names that God called you out. God called you out. Who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Can I get with you? Yes. I know some people say I'm too the marvelous life. I'm too to his, his marvelous. marvelous life. It was God that called you out. Amen. See how getting called out is a good thing? Amen. Because if you have not been called out, it only entails that you're still in darkness. Mm -hmm. I don't like being called out. Amen. Amen. Because when I'm called out, Let's me know that something is not right. That's right. And when something is not right, we want to make it right. Make it right. Amen. That's right. So therefore, getting called out is a good thing. Because you get an opportunity and a chance to make it right. Yes. But how can I make it right? By surrendering. Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yield to be filled by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. It's okay to get called out. That's an opportunity and a chance to get it right. Mm -hmm. And the word of God said again, I'm going to say it again, uh, verse 9. But you are a chosen generation. Hear me now. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. That's why sometimes people don't understand you at all times. You're a peculiar people. And you're wondering why people can't sit and talk with you all the time. You've been called out. You've been called out and also set apart. And then I, yes, you've been set apart. Amen. God had called you out, set you apart, and therefore everybody don't understand you. Everybody is not going to enjoy your company. So true. Sometimes. <laughs> so true. So it might be something that they want to do different than what you, what you do. What they want to talk about other than what you talk, talk about. That's right. Your conversation may not be <clears throat> appropriate and for them or to them at that time. Amen. Amen. So therefore, they're not going to receive um, you at that time and they'll say, well, no, not today. Uh, they, they got something else in mind or on their mind. You're peculiar people. You are. Child of God, children of God will kill you, but that you, and that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into the, his marvelous light. Which in time past, this is what I like about it, because we not always say, and God had, he had to call us out in order to bring us in. If God called you out, it's only because he got a place he's going to bring you into. He called you out to bring you into. Are y'all still with me? Amen. So it's good that God called you out. It's good that God showed forth where you were stepping and walking from. Yes, Lord. That you have the opportunity and the chance to get it right with the grace that he has given unto us. Yes, Lord. Grace gave us a chance and opportunity to get it right. Amen. Amen. To receive. Amen. To learn of him. To yield, to be filled by the Holy Spirit, and then allow the Holy Spirit to teach us. To reach us, to teach us. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. To show us and to comfort us, to console us, Amen. to embrace us. Amen. Amen. And also to preserve us Amen. for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So we are a peculiar people that God called out out of darkness into his marvelous life. 
which were, which in time past were not the people, not always the people, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God, now that we have mercy, now that we have grace, now that we have opportunity, now that we have the chance in order to get it right. Yes. Amen. Yes. It would be bad if we didn't have no choice, if we didn't have no chance to get it right. Mm -hmm. Praise God for grace and his mercy. Praise New God. mercy that God gives unto us each and every passing day that we have. Yes. Ain't God good? Good. See how important it is to be called out now? So then we don't get upset about being called out. We just do something about it. Amen. Look at the neighbors and man that you know. What are you going to do about it? Sometimes we obtain and we get the information, but we never begin to execute or either to make things better or make it right. I, 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 um, I was listening to a song earlier uh, that we walked in on. Never could have made it. Never would have made it. Amen. Without now, I, I gathered he's talking about God. I uh, um, gathered, I'm hoping that he was not talking about an individual or a human being. Amen. We give all the glory to God. Um, every once in a while, we need to throw that thing in there to that. You know, but in, in the, in the, uh, uh, the, I guess the long version of it, he kind of throws it in there. But what about the ones that don't get a long version of the song? But praise God, never could have made it. Bob Sapp, he's a, he's a pastor. I'm quite sure that he was talking about God, but sometimes we want to to, to reach and, and, and um, how can I say an audience, and sometimes we want to kind of hold that part back because we think we might run the audience away. Uh, uh, and I don't know how it was. That's totally there. How did they do it? I don't know how. God, I'm not messing with that. But, um, never could have made it. Never would have made it without God. Amen. In other words, I can say this. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, mm. I would have been swallowed up. Yes. I wouldn't be here today. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes, yes Lord. Because I was sometimes in darkness. But God called me out of darkness into his marvelous life. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Amen. You can never say a light in a dark place. A light in a dark place. A light in a dark place. A dark place. Yes, my Lord. Amen. And the Bible said, which in time past. So we must not forget that in time past we were not a people. Amen. Don't go thinking that you should be or you deserve to be. Because that would all of that counsel our, our, our grace. No. We all were born in sin. Yes. Shaping into iniquity. Yes. Can I get a witness? We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of, of, the glory of God. Yes. So don't go thinking that because you thinking that you have been such a good person uh, and you did everything right, you dotted every T and crossed every I. See the errors <laughs> that you can make? Dotted every T, crossed every I. And that might have been the way with some of us because we dotted the T and crossed the I and the I. And then, <laughs> So the man was some of us, but we have not, we was not born saved. No, no. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And then we all have sinned and fall short yes, indeed. of the glory of God. By his grace giving us an opportunity. Amen. To receive the Holy One, Jesus Christ. His only begotten Son. Giving us that chance and opportunity. Amen. To receive him as our Lord and Savior to be converted by the will and way and word of God. Can I get a witness? We was trapped at one point. What we thought in sin. We was caught up in sin until we heard a voice. We began to cry out to someone who came to a savior that is worth saving. Yes, uh, a, a savior that is worth having. Yes. Amen. And saw through and by grace a people that was worth saving. And that, that's tough, right? Yes, that's good stuff there. We went and called out and cried out for a savior that is worth having. 
to save a people that he saw worth saving. Thank you, Lord. And he gave his only life that we may have that life. Yes. And they may have it more yes. abundantly. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank God for my Savior. Thank God. Thank God for his only yes. begotten Son. Yes. Thank God for Jesus the Christ. Yes. Thank God for my Redeemer. Yes. Amen. And my Redeemer lives. Yes. How do I know that he lives? He lives within me. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the saving of my soul. Thank you for bearing the cross for my sin. Thank you for taking my place when it should have been me. Hanging there on that cross. Can I get a witness here? Gave us a Savior worth having. Can I get a witness here? Praise the Lord. I said that we was going to go to Ephesians chapter 2, uh, chapter 5. Amen. And we're going to pull this text and we're going to be ending this sermon. I'm hoping by now that you're, you're catching on and you're getting the revelation of this message. Because it's very, very important to receive it. So the next time that you're called out, you'll realize that, okay, it's a good thing. Okay, now. Amen. Okay. But, but he embarrassed me. That's a good thing. <laughs> They'll lower down and it'll kill off the pride that I have in me. Now I know that God hates a proud look. Pride will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. God hates a proud look. And sometimes we need to be called out in areas that it would bring us low enough or humble enough to do the things of God. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Amen. Ephesians chapter 5. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we're going to go here for the text and we're going to read just a little bit of this because they get us kind of familiar with things that in the past that we did not deserve to be. So God gave us his grace. And he's talking to Paul, talking to the church of Ephesus and he's explaining to them as he's writing and he's talking to them. He said, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Walk in love as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Yes. Somebody shout yes. Yes. He said the fornication and all uncleanness and covetousness and let it not be once named among you as becoming saint. Once God has Bless you and brought you up and out of and called you out and and, and begin to to uh, uh that Christ came to redeem us from those things and to bring us out from those things and return not back to. Yeah. Once becoming saints, let this not once be named again about you. That's right, yes, Lord. Thank As you, becoming Jesus. saints, the Bible Thank says. You. Verse 4 said, Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving up thanks. Yes. For this you know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, had any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things coming the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. He said, Be ye not. Be not ye, therefore partakers with them. He said, For ye were sometimes darkness. This is what I want to get to. You were sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord. He said, Walk as children of light. Somebody shout, Yes, a light in a dark place. Oh yes, we are light in a dark world. Yes, Lord. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Yes, Lord. But let your light shine. Lord. The Bible said, Amen, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Yes. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Yes. Have no fellowship, Amen. The Bible said, with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Yes. That's all the magnum when light shows up in dark place. They begin to brighten it up and light it up. Illumination begins to form and come and light 
and darkness began to be dissipated. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Light would di now darkness would disappear when light shows on, steps up and comes forth. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Amen. The Bible, God, the Word of God said, but rather reprove them. That's the reproving right there. Sometimes you don't have to say a word. Mm -hmm. Amen. But just let your light shine. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. Can I get a witness here? Yes. Every once in a while, look at this and just show up. Just show up. All you have to do sometimes is show up. Just show sometimes up. people begin to invite you to certain things, and guess what happened? They don't keep on inviting you. All you had to do is just shut up. I mean, show up. And they would shut some things up. Can I get a witness? They would so be so, so angry that they invited you. <laughs> and their problem say, I won't invite him no more. I won't invite her no more. Be careful whom you begin to continue to invite. And when they don't show up, you get angry and get mad. Amen. It's a good thing sometimes for you if they don't show up. Amen. Amen. Because when light shows up, if there's any darkness in them, it will dissipate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the truth. Y'all better help me with this. Amen. But watch this, watch this, watch this here. Here the Bible said, but all things that are reproved are made manifest in verse 13 by the light. For whatsoever do make manifest is light. Light reveals things. It brings things to a visual. Amen. Amen. Physically. Amen. 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 So the word of God, Paul began to say, uh, right, and he said, wherefore, he said, the Lord said, awake thou that sleepest, and rise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. You got to wake up. Look at the wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. The Lord want to give you light. His light. Yes, Lord. He said, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as Wise. Wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yeah. Be not drunk with wine, wherein is, is uh, excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Yeah. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Yeah. Giving yeah. thanks always. For all things unto God for the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a witness here? And then verse 21 says, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. In the honor, in the respect, in the love of God. Amen. Submit to one another. Can I get a witness here? A light in a dark place. It's something that when you come around, it seems like uh, there can be some noise, but when you come around, it, everything quiets down. It's amazing, right? Mm. And that's the respect that, well, that's the, uh, the, mis the, the, the how can I say it? Uh, darkness don't comprehend light. Don't understand. You're a peculiar people, mm. or you're priests of a holy nation. Amen. Can I get a witness here? That's right. So when you show up sometime, darkness don't understand you. Amen. Why did everybody get quiet when she showed up? Why did they get quiet when he showed up? Why did everything then seem like it's at a standstill? It's only because of the illumination, the illumination that you have. As the Bible begins to say that let your light shine before all men that they may see your good works and they may glorify your Father which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. That's right. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Sometimes you don't understand why is everybody acting a little strange and different? Amen. Think it not strange. Think it not strange. <laughs> <laughs> That's Amen. Right. That's right. You're different. You're no longer the person that you used to be. You are a different person. Mind you that you were brought out of darkness into his marvelous light. Somebody shout yes up in here. You were a you were in darkness and God called 
you out yes, Lord. and brought you into his marvelous yes, life. Lord. Somebody shout yes up yes. in here. You say, God did it. God did it. Yes. And there's nothing so much about me that I'm so good and I'm so uh, uh, perfect or anything because I'm not perfect. I'm imperfect. And he did, but it was God's doing. God brought me up. He brought me out. He brought me and he Somebody shout yes up in here. It was God that did it. God did it. Yes. Nothing so good that I've done. Yes. Nothing so good that I've said. Not that I'm because I'm living so good. Not that I am perfect because I'm not. I am imperfect. Praise be unto God that the flesh is imperfect. The only perfect thing is God Himself and His Spirit. Can I get a witness here? Amen. 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 So it was nothing of what of your doing, it was all about God's doing. Yes, and God called you out of darkness into the marvelous life. Some people don't understand why you, every time I see that the mouth is going and you're singing songs of uh, spiritual songs, I'm always talking about Jesus, 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 I'm always talking spiritual things. And they don't understand you, and you, you are a peculiar people. They will not understand you. Yes, Amen. Life, life. You'll be amazed at how many people that get tired of hearing about Jesus. Amen. You'll be amazed at that. Oh Lord, let me go in there duck and hide and they run from you. I know what they, well that's the good thing about it. They know what you can, they know your conversation. They know, <laughs> they see your light. Let your light shine. The Lord is saying, turn your light off. He said, let it shine before me that they may see your good works. And they may glorify the Father which are in heaven. Somebody shout yes up in here. It's all right to keep your light shining. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Come on, y'all. part of the train. She said, let there be light. light. And the light began to shine, amen, right in the midst of the pitch black darkness. Amen. The earth was, everything was covered of earth, I mean, with darkness. Amen. And when God spoke the word, let there be light, there was light. There was light. Man. And when he called you out of darkness into that light. the marvelous light, oh, yeah. his marvelous light that he called us into, not just a light, but his light. Yes. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Yes, indeed. I'm going to end with this. I like to think of it being as we look into the galaxy, we look up there into the celestials and the bodies and all we see the stars the specks of stars and the, we see the moon we see that all of this light is shining in darkness yes. amen we are the light of the world the specks of light on this earth yes. that shineth on the earth amen the specks of light I believe and this is my faith but I believe that until all of these specks of light that God has on this earth come together as one unit in Christ. All right, all right. Yeah, yes, the major light. 
We all come, all the specks of life, all the saints of the world, all the children of God yes, sir. come together. All the specks come together as one whole unto the whole light, which is Christ Jesus. Yes, we be that one unit unto the unity of the faith, the knowledge of the Son of God. Jesus. Can I get a witness? Yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Unto perfect man. And we will be no more children. Tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Yes, Amen. Set up by men and how they lie and wait to deceive you. Mm. Amen. Yes. We all will be under that one light, Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Yes. The light of the world. Yes, indeed. We're the light of the earth. He's the light of the world. And when we all come together into that one light, amen, that universal light, all right. hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, which is our oneness in Christ. We're going to find that the light will shine so bright, illuminate so bright that nothing can stand the presence of it. And it shines and, and lights up everything. Because everything shall be manifested by that light. As we see in John, the first chapter. Everything will be manifested by the light. Shall be revealed by the light. Oh, we're just little specks of light. It's coming to. Amen the whole major light, which is Christ Jesus. Yes. We are the body, his body. As celestial, to have their body, the celestial body, and the terrestrial body. We have, Jesus has a body. And we are that light. And as we come together as a unit in Christ Jesus. Yes. Everybody say oneness. Oneness. Oneness, O N E N E S S. Oneness. Amen. Till we all come to the unity. Everybody say unity. There will not be no more division. There will not be no more far ways. Everybody will be under one unit in Christ Jesus. There's only one body. Christ only got one body. There won't be no separation. There won't be no division. Amen. We all will be in harmony in Christ. Amen. The one body. The headlight is Christ. Amen. Amen. So let your light shine everywhere you go. Amen. Amen. And don't turn your light off. Amen. Leave it on everywhere you go. You are the light. Of the world. Amen. Amen. And never forget that you're also the salt of the earth. You need to sprinkle on yourself all over the earth. In other words, being a witness. Be a witness everywhere you go. Amen. You're the salt and you're also the light. You are a light in a dark place. place. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let us let our light shine beautiful, beautiful. everywhere we go. Wonderful. Take a vacation. Take your light with you. Wonderful. Sometimes we think that we want to leave the light back home and take vacation and go. Take your light everywhere you go. You go to the um, um, the what what the Bahamas and you go to anywhere to the Mecca. Go anywhere you want to go. Take your light with you. Yes. Take your salt too. Yeah. Amen. Don't just turn your light off and don't bring your salt. Sometimes we leave our salt home. Sometimes we need to turn our light off. Amen. You don't have to wait to get into the, present, uh, uh, the, the building in order to turn your light on. The light should be on before you enter into the building. Enter into his gates with, into his courts with. Amen. The light's supposed to be on by the time when you enter into the courts of God, the gates uh, with thanksgiving and courts with praise, your light is turned on.
Your light is on. Do you know it says on now? It's on now. Amen. Praise God. I'm hoping that you have received something out of this message. I'm going to close on that note. Um, amen. That uh, we realize who we are and who we are. And that we're never to turn our lights off. But let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And they may glorify your Father which are in heaven. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Everyone is on their feet at this time. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I thank God for the light. John said, I'm not the light, but I'm here to bear witness of that light. Can I get a witness in? Amen. Amen. Praise God. He's, he, we are here to bear witness of that light. We're specks of his body. Amen. The whole body of light. Thank you, Lord. We're specks of that body. Amen. Praise God. Again, hoping that you got something out of this message um, that you did receive the revelation. Amen. Praise God. And we thank God for um, speaking to us and um, giving us the insight and revelation and, uh, that we need. As the Spirit began to search the deep things of God and reveal and manifest unto us, we thank God for that. Praise the Almighty God, Lord. We bless your name again. As we praise you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Yes. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we hope that some ear have heard. Yes. And Lord, inquiring, must, what must I do to be saved? Yes. Oh, Father God, the doors of the church is open right now in Jesus' name. If there's anyone that does not know the law about the pardon of your sin, to come, amen, as being um, invited into the fold, into the house of God, into the home of God, into body of Christ. Will you come today? Come and just surrender all. All you have to do is yield to be filled. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. If you don't know what to do, then repeat after me. Oh Lord, as I come humbly before your throne of grace, I come as a sinner. I come as not knowing you, Lord, but I come humble and low and repenting of the things that is not pleasing in your sight. I come in the sense of the thing that is contrary to your will and to your way. I come, Father God, as low as I know how, undeserved, Lord, I thank you for your grace. Lord, I ask that your mercy be upon me, Lord. I've heard that you give mercy, new mercy each and every passing day, Lord, and, and right now have mercy upon me as I come, Lord, and receive me right now into your fold and receive me into the family, Lord. I am a people that are not your people, Lord, but as I come, Lord, I come Lord, humble. I come in humility. I come in repentance. I come with godly sorrowfulness. I come, Lord, and knowing that I cannot save myself, but I know that you can. And I realize and I believe that your son Jesus died for my sin. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus covered up everything, covered everything through and by his blood. And I come, Father God, to receive you right now, to receive your son Jesus the Christ as my Lord, as my Savior, to lead me and to guide me and to rule and to reign in my life. Lord, right now, in Jesus' name, save my soul. If you have heard this message and you have acknowledge the things that were said right now in Jesus name, in Jesus name. you are saved Hallelujah. Amen. in the name of Jesus that was nothing other than to continue to learn more and more about yes, your Savior learn more about your Savior and come to a Bible teaching church that teaches Jesus to Christ and lift up Jesus as Lord and Savior and the Son of the living God and that None other but God that who have given his son, amen, for us. And he gave his life that we may have that life and have it more abundantly. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I'm here to say um, that, again, to thank God for this opportunity for allowing us to be, be together here on this day. That he have given us. This is the day the Lord has made. And we shall continue to rejoice and be glad in it. 
in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, I give you praise and glory and honor. Yeah. If there's nothing else, I want to thank God for the visitors. I want to thank God for those of you who have come out on today. So glad to have yeah. you. And so glad to have the church family. And they continue yeah. to pray. As we continue to spread by our salt and continue to shed our light. Yeah. And everywhere we go, we're going to just want to thank every one of you who took out of your schedules and joined in with us today. We hope that you were blessed by this word that God has given to our pastor to share with not only us, but to share with you as well. And we just hope that you were really blessed um, by the words that God was sending. And also just to take this time just to extend to each and every one of you who are up here now and those who may come later an invitation to um, Pastor Hudson's um, birthday slash anniversary, uh, not anniversary, slash appreciation service. Next Sunday, we'll be having it at my home at um, 2 p.m. Uh, again, next Sunday at 2 p.m., we'll be having Pastor Hudson's um, birthday slash appreciation uh, celebration at 2 p.m. My address is 3404 East Baywood Lane in Greenville, North Carolina. Um, it, is, it, it will be pent to this um, broadcast. So I um, just want to send an invitation to any one of you, every one of you, whoever, um, you are welcome to come, to drop in. All right, we look forward to seeing some of y'all next Sunday. Y'all be blessed.